everyone. I am showing you my Bahama Fizz candle. I know I showed this in one of my other videos, but I thought I would show you what it looks like after melting it for a few hours. And I think it's been melting about two and a half, three hours, which this is how, this is exactly how it was when I melt, after I melted it for like six or seven hours the first time. So I can show you. Now, there you go. Now, no, it's not even all the way around, but it's not as bad as half the candles I've seen here on YouTube. As you can see, there's a little bit of wax all around, well, three areas of the candle. So it's not too, too bad. Um, I might see if I can fix this one by putting a little tin foil around the sides or melting down the the wax along the side to see if I can get it even because actually it's not that bad. If it was not as even as this is, you know, um, I would definitely be taking this back tomorrow. But now that I melted it, like I said, that's only a little bit. And if you could see, well, yeah, I need to see. You could see where the wax is right there the pool of wax and this isn't a pool of wax. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Now look at how nice it's burning right there. And these wicks are, yeah, okay. Well, on the sides it looks worse, but it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. And the wicks are very, very small. I have not had to take any, there's no mushroom at the top, which usually there is a mushroom for me burning it all day. You know, from like the last time I melted this candle, like I said, it was melted about six hours. And I never had to do anything with the tops of the wick. So, it's not as bad. Not good, but not that bad. So, I just wanted to show you my Bahama Fizz. And I'm sure I can fix that on the sides. I know I shouldn't have to, but I think I'll try to fix it. Now, I did a video earlier on my Paradise Daiquiri. Ta-da! It only took four and a half hours, but it's an even pool of wax now. So maybe I should wait a little bit longer before, see, even pool of wax. It's just in my nice holder. Um, but I don't think it should take about four and a half hours for a four ounce candle to have an even pool of wax. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm new at melting, uh, burning the four ounce candle. So correct me if I'm wrong. Is it supposed to take four and a half hours for a four ounce candle? Maybe four and a half, four hours, yeah. I mean, four and a half hours for a four-ounce candle, four and four, might be. Still, the scent is not the best. Like I said, it's more of an artificial raspberry with a little bit of orange. But it is melting evenly right now, so no dud. So I just wanted to make sure I showed everybody that I jumped a little bit too quick on that candle. Though, I really don't, I mean, seriously, though, if I wanted to light this candle to take a bath or be in my office for two hours and blow it out, I wouldn't be able to because I would have to wait for the even pull of wax. So like I said, four and a half hours, it should not take for a four ounce candle. My three wicks do not take four and a half hours to melt evenly. I know this is a one wick, but it's a small candle. Anyways, here we go. Here are my two candles, my Bahama Fizz, which is, eh, you know, good scent. Not the best, but it's a good, no, not a bad scent. And then my Paradise, uh, Paradise Daiquiri, I'm so happy that it's an even pull of wax. So tomorrow or Wednesday, I will go back and try to get the Bahama Fizz in the 4-ounce candle. So that is my video showing you my Bahama Fizz and also, again, my Paradise Daiquiri. Hope this helps some of you. I will take pics of my candle if I am able to correct the wax on the sides. And, of course, it will be in my Friday's video again this week um, and hopefully all that wax will be nice and even. So thanks for watching and have a great day and good luck with the candles.